Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we're going to be reading 2 Timothy chapter 4. In the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will be the judge of the living and the dead, and in the view of his appearing and his kingdom, I give you this charge. Preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season, correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to miss. But... You keep your head in all situations, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, discharge all the duties of your ministry, for I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith, now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord the righteous judge will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all those who longed for his appearing. So that section of 2 Timothy chapter 4 is talking specifically about um, time. So we don't really know how much time we have. Now, Timothy was talking about his time being short during this time in the Bible. However, this can apply to us today. We don't know how much time we have left on earth. We don't know if Jesus is going to return or if our time is near. So while we're on earth, we need to be making sure we are doing the right things and following Christ and leading others to him. That is our mission. Verse 9, personal remarks. Do your best to come to me quickly. For Demas, because he loved this world, has deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica. Crensis has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, because he is helpful to me in ministry. I send Tychius to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus at Taurus and my scroll, especially the parchments. Alexander, the meat worker, did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. You too should be on your guard against him because he strongly opposes our message. At my first offense, no one came to support, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them, but the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever, amen. So that was just a message saying what Timothy went through during this time period in his life. Uh, There was a lot of people that abandoned him and didn't stay by his side, but the Lord did stay with him. Um, Also, Luke stayed with him as well. Um, So he's kind of sharing the experiences that he had during that time. Final greetings, verse 19. Greet Priscilla and Aquila in the household of Onephorus. Eurydice stayed in the Corinth and I left Trophimus, sick in Miletus. Do your best to get here before winter. Eubulus greets you, and so does Putin's Linus, Claudia, and all the brothers and sisters. The Lord be with you in spirit. Grace be with you all. So that is just the last greeting of chapter 4 from Timothy. Um, just a general greeting um, ending that chapter. Thank you for listening to this edition of Christian Unite Bible Readings. We will start on 2 Timothy chapter 3 next.